Hey everyone, welcome back to another Tips and Talks Tuesday. I'm severely running out of time right now. Yeah, today is Tuesday. I was literally thinking it was Monday. I've lost the plot. Anyway, there's a video that's going to be released shortly, probably in the next few days. Good, good fun hunt, some good footage. But yeah, I'm about to go for another hunt now and realized I have not got a Tips and Talks Tuesday video ready, so I'm quickly videoing quickly, <laughs> quickly videoing this on my phone. And I'm going to talk about my phone mount that's on my bow. Lots of people have asked about that, so I'm going to screenshot the eBay page. with what you need to search if you want to do this. I'm just going to show you my bow right now and give you a look. All right. So here's my bow here in the case. This here's the mount. And as you can see, if it's going to focus on the right area, so there's the mount. It's just a tripod phone mount, and all I did, so there's it front on, all I did was, there was already, already this machining mark. If I can lay my bow down without wrecking too much. I just used this machining hole here, threw in a, threw in a bolt, because this tripod mount has a little thread in there. So that's all I've done, just set it up like that. And then, yeah, phone just slides in. So, it's not too unbalanced. I can hold it out there and it basically looks like that. But yeah, you can change the pitch on it. Like so. So if you wanna change the angle of your shot, and it's firm enough, like in this adjustment here, so it just clamps your phone. But it's firm enough that you can also run it like that if you wanted to do a portrait, if you're doing Insta stories or whatever you're doing. Obviously, I don't do it like that because I'm using it for YouTube. But all in all, phone goes in there. It's not a bad mount. I quite like it. I use it a lot. So hopefully that helps someone out. All right, so sorry that was brief, but I need to pack and make a move before it gets before I'm running out of time. Basically, going out to a property, pretty local property, going to go suss out see if there's any deer cruising around. But the owner wants some foxes cleaned up, so we'll be trying to get stuck into foxes as well. So Stu's going to finish work shortly, then we're going out there. So stay tuned.